exposure to radium levels, even low levels, may increase the risk of cancer development. More than half of Americans could be drinking tap water tainted with a radioactive element. New research from the Environmental Working Group finds more than 170 million people are exposed to radium in their drinking water. Doctors say that could increase the risk of cancer, and there is a way you can find out if you are impacted. Anna Werner reports. When Dennis Taylor moved with his wife and two kids back to her hometown of Brady, Texas, he quickly found out many here don't drink the city water. I think I tried to drink out of the tap water, and it was like, whoa, 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 no. We don't drink out of the tap water. But it was only recently that he learned that water has unacceptably high levels of a radioactive substance, radium, a contaminant that occurs naturally in the ground and winds up in aquifers. The city's radium levels violate the EPA's maximum allowable levels. The reason it's of concern? Radium is a known carcinogen. Alexis Temkin is a toxicologist with the nonprofit Environmental Working Group, or EWG. It has been associated with increases in bone cancer. So exposure to radium levels, even low levels, may increase the risk of cancer development. EWG collected data from public water systems around the country and analyzed five years of tests. Radium was found in all 50 states, and the group found 158 public water systems in 27 states reported radium in amounts that exceeded the federal legal limit. The state with the most widespread contamination, EWG says, Texas, where more than 3,500 utilities serving more than 22 million people, about 80 percent of the state's population, reported finding radium. And in tiny Brady, with 5,500 residents, radium in some wells is nine times higher than where it should be. Mayor Tony Groves says the city faces a tough problem, how to get enough state grant funding to build a new water treatment plant. The population here can't foot that bill, can they? The, uh, the water treatment plant is going to cost in excess of $20 million. $20 million. We're going to fix the water. Uh, it's just how painful is it going to be for us to fix the water. Other communities may not be aware of their radium risk. That's why EWG built its own database where members of the public can do a simple zip code search to find out what contaminants are in their drinking water, something EWG's Alexis Formusis says the EPA should have done. The EPA and the Safe Drinking Water Act specifically have largely failed the American people. The group isn't just critical of the EPA. It's also on the attack against a current Trump nominee from Texas up for a key environmental post. EWG alleges Kathleen Hartnett White's agency deliberately falsified data on public water system radiation levels at the time she headed the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality in the mid-2000s. Hartnett White had no comment. Senate Democrats are also opposing Hartnett White and produced this video. What, uh, a specific question, please. Which Delaware Senator Tom Carper told us they've been showing to Senate Republicans to convince them to vote against her. We can do better. The president can do better than this. And they've nominated a number of other people that we thought were, uh, uh, were reasonably good. They've been confirmed. And do you think politically you have a reasonable chance of getting a, her stricken? You bet we do. You bet we do. Back in Brady, Dennis Taylor says he and his family won't be drinking the water for now. It's about making sure that you're putting the best stuff in you. And I believe we should be getting it from the tap, but that's not the reality today, hopefully in the future. And here's how you at home can use the database to find out if your neighborhood has high levels of radium. You can find the link right now at kdka.com. When you get to the database, you will see this interactive map. You can either zoom into the Pittsburgh region or search your specific zip code. Once you are there, it will tell you all of the findings and whether the drinking water meets federal standards. Again, that link is posted right now at kdka.com.